Welcome to Orderline's OBC Quick Tips. Today's topic is spiral stair requirements, presented by Steve Penna. 9845A Spiral Stairs. Contrary to popular belief, the building code did not permit the installation of spiral stairs in a building prior to January 1st, 2022. The building code now has specific requirements for the design and construction of spiral stairs that will reduce the likelihood of a person slipping or falling, since spiral stairs can be quite uh, hazardous when trying to use them. One of the restrictions to the installation of a spiral stair is that where it is the only means of egress from a floor area, the maximum load of the floor area is restricted to three persons. This low occupant load is required as the stairs can be used by only one person at a time, and the, ac the evacuation time will be acceptable. The other requirements for spiral stairs are as follows. You require handrails on both sides, the other handrails being not less than 1070 millimeters high, and B, a clear width not less than 660 millimeters between the handrails, C, risers that are not more than 240 millimeters high, D, treads that are a minimum of 190 millimeters deep at a point 300 millimeters from the center line of the inside handrail and have a consistent angle and uniform dimension and turn in the same direction. And finally, E, they have a clear height of not less than 1980 millimeters on the stair. The diagram on the next slide helps depict these dimensions. So you can see in our photograph, the typical spiral stair, but in our diagram, you can see you have the, the minimum 190 millimeter tread. You have the handrails on both, both sides, inside and outside. You are required to have a 300 millimeter uh, at, at center line distance and the uh, tread width at that point has to be a minimum of 190 millimeters. And the minimum width between the handrails cannot exceed, cannot be less than 660 millimeters. And finally, the headroom on the stair cannot be less than 1980 millimeters. The spiral stairs in the photograph would not comply as there's only one handrail, you notice. Thank you for attending this training on spiral stairs. For more information on compliance of part nine of the OBC, go to www.orderline.com 